All right, so it's that time of the month. We got all this new stuff from Taco Bell, except this month it's kind of boring. Something kind of new, new drinks, some rehashes. I thought I could spice it up a bit. I thought I could spice it up a bit. So I've brought my little bottle of truffle on with me. Um, we're gonna try that on some of the items here. Taco Bell actually had a promotion with truff last year. It was like, it was only in like a one or two test markets or something. It sounded really good, but I didn't get to try any of it. And we're gonna recreate it today, sort of, kind of. Um, so, let's get started. There's so many things here, I don't know where to start. Let's get our stupid selfie thumbnail to start with. Because I've got the new Mango Whip Freeze. Mango Freeze with like a vanilla cream swirl in it. Looks pretty good. And then I've also got, it's kind of new, kind of not. It's the double, classic double beef, cheesy double beef burrito or some wild Taco Bell name like that. This was out last in 2016 and now they've brought it back, but it doesn't have the red strips. It's got the new, like whatever they're called, Fiesta strips or something in it. I don't know. Let's take it out. Let's show it off. This <laughs> is two bucks. This thing's huge. <laughs> Good God. It was supposed to be grilled, so they... Uh, looks like they tried. Let's get our stupid selfie thumbnail. Alright. That'll do, I guess. Let's take a bite of this thing. It's got rice. It's got itself all over my car and me. It's got sour cream. It's got the red, like, Fiesta strips in it. Not bad. I think there's nacho cheese in there. This thing is just falling apart. See all the three cheese blend and the little Fiesta strip things? They put most of the strips at the bottom, though. See, they're different. They're not like the old red strips. They've changed them up. They've changed them up. Um, yeah, there's no sauce on this. Okay, good. Let's put some truff on it. Um, actually, first, let's try this mango whip. Oh, there's where the rice went. Onto my mango whip. It's not my straw. That's a straw, Starbucks straw. Eh, what's the difference? Mm, it's compostable. We're eco-friendly today, guys. Good stuff. Okay. It's getting melty. Let's try it. Yo. I don't normally get excited for their freezes. They're good. They're always good. This is really good. Now, I've never been to like Disney and have like a Dole Whip or anything like that, but I see where the hype is. You've got this really good mango flavor and then this delicious vanilla cream. A plus. Get this. You can get this as part of the combos. You pay like 80 cents more or so to upgrade to this. Worth every penny. Damn. Okay. All right, I'm in a good mood now. Um, all right. I'm less bummed out about the fact that I'm on vacation this week and I'm sitting here filming a video at a Taco Bell. You know? I'm happy about it. So I got my truff. All right, truff sent me this. Uh, they're the best. And this is good. It's like a black truffle infused hot sauce. At home, I put this on like everything. If I'm making tacos, I put it on there. If I got some frozen pizza that ended up being bland, drizzle a little bit on there. I love it. Um, but I've never taken it with me anywhere. <laughs> I've never taken it out for a video, and I've never put it on Taco Bell. So, it can't be bad, right? I will be stunned. So let's, let's pour some on. That might be a bit much. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Let me show you what I did. And there she is. All that delicious looking pepper sauce, truff. Um... Now, let me take a bite. I'll tell you more about what they did. That complements that perfectly. I 
I don't want to be sacrilegious here and bash the, you know, beloved medium or what do we got? Mild fire and mild hot fire Diablo sauces. I get it. Those are great. Whatever. This is better. <laughs> um, so what they did, well, we're going to recreate it. Uh, I'll save the surprise. We'll, we'll save it. Um, this is good. This is huge. I'm bringing some of this home. We've got more things to try. We've got more things to try trough on. It's gonna be a video, guys. It's gonna be a video. Okay, so that's the new thing. That's pretty good. There's also a spicy version that comes with jalapenos. Funnily enough, I don't think my stores have jalapenos because it wouldn't let me order until I took away the spicy version. So, your mileage may vary on that. This is good. It would not be made better by the trough, but this is good. All right. Next, I got a box because they brought back the Cantina Crispy Chicken Tacos. So if you remember a long while back, they did a chicken sandwich taco and the chicken sandwich taco had these stupid little chicken finger things in them. And then eventually they brought those little chicken finger things out in these tacos and called them the Cantina Crispy Chicken Tacos. And that's, that's the hype for this one. They've kept around the toasted cheddar chalupa for another month or so and they've got these. Not super exciting. I think it was like $8.49 with all the customizations and the freeze and look at all the food you get. Oh my God. Let's try this first though, before I get to that. Here's some nacho cheese, okay? So what Truff did, I think it was last year, maybe, maybe the year before, I think it was last year. They uh, partnered up with Taco Bell, official partnership thing. And they did a truff nacho cheese sauce to dip your nacho fries in. That looked really good, but I couldn't try it. So I'm gonna try and make my own. Now, I don't know what the ratio was. This isn't gonna taste the same, but damn it, it's gonna taste pretty similar, right? Like we can only, there's only so many ways to do that. Okay, I've poured a whole bunch of truff in there. I think just enough. Maybe too much? I don't know. You gotta mix her up. So let's take a little chipper here. A little chippy. Mix it up. See now, in their promotional materials and everything, looking at it, it was this gorgeous, perfectly mixed sauce, obviously, right? Mine's not gonna be that. Um, but we're here for flavor, not for looks at the moment. So the nacho cheese has been oh, not perfectly mixed on the chip, but it's been mixed into this beautiful reddish cheese, I guess. I don't know how to put it. Let's try it. That's good. You got the cheesiness. You got that savory, earthy truffle flavor. And then you got the spice from the hot sauce. Um, Hmm. Sorry, there's some sort of construction something going on over here. I don't know what. Sorry, that distracted me. Um, this is a busy area. There's some dude just standing there, and he's just smoking a cigarette, just staring at me. So that's uh, that's a vibe. Um, this is good. This is good. See. The problem with this is now I've ruined myself. Like, I'm just gonna start putting this on everything, which is kind of already what I was doing. But now that I'm finding that everything is good like this, I feel like I'm about to take it to the extreme. Um, if you wanna take it to the extreme, I have a promo code up above. I think it's, I don't know, it's whatever it says. Poppy Eats 15 maybe? Um, I don't know, up in the corner there, up in the description, down in the description. You can save money on Truff. Um, oh, check it out. I've got other videos too, trying more of their stuff. It's all so good. Um, this is the most accessible flavor. Like if you've never had any of this, um, it's not crazy hot. It's not super potent with truffle flavor, like it's just right. They have a hotter version, which I didn't bring along here today. I think that might be my favorite. And then they also have the white truffle ones, which at first weren't quite for me because they were even 
more savory, earthier, trufflier, if you will. Um, but as I started to eat more of this, that, that I started to embrace that more, those are good too. That is good. That is really damn good. We are going over our calories today. Oh my God. Okay, next. This must be the stupid thing. I gotta clean this car. Uh, what is this, is this it? Yeah. I mean, this thing's really disappointing. My whole idea for today was to jazz this up with the truck. That, that is why we're here. Everything else has been spur of the moment, bonus, whatever. Jesus is weak. So here's the Cantina Crispy Chicken Taco. It's a soft shell white taco, boring, with this overcooked little turd of a chicken tender inside. This one has some chipotle sauce. Yeah, there's cheese and lettuce. And then you can also get it with uh, avocado ranch. So, you know, I'm not even, I'm just gonna put the truff on. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. I already know what this tastes like. Look at this chicken tender though. Like, this is it. This is what you're paying for. I'm surprised so many people love this thing. I'm surprised they brought it back. Okay, but now, I will put the truff away in a minute. There's one more thing I wanna try it off. But now we've got this gorgeous truff all over it and the chipotle sauce. I think it should be a good, good combo. Um, There's a machine, and the black stuff, like asphalt from the road or something, keeps being ripped up and dumped into this big truck. I don't know what's going on. That's good. Um, you've got everything good from the chipotle sauce. No lettuce. Plus the trough. I don't know if it saves the item though. Like, this is a $2 taco. This should not be a $2 taco. It helps. But, it needs like a sour cream or something. That would really do the trick. Mm. That is a Scion FRS. I always wanted one of those, but I didn't like the interior. Even the new one, the 86 GI. I don't, I don't like the interior. That's why I didn't get one. <laughs> That's why I have this beautiful new Mazda. I'm dumping lettuce and God knows what all over. Problem is, I don't know if I can even get down there to free the lettuce. I can't stick that hand down. And we'll figure it out. Last thing I want to try on camera with you. Part of this box came with a, a chalupa. And I upgraded it to chicken. The chalupa doesn't come with a sauce on it though. It just comes with sour cream. I thought this would be the absolute perfect vessel for my truff hot sauce. Just give it a shot. So let's take another sip of our amazing. Is that a person? No, that's a tree. Amazing, not Dole Whip, Mango Whip. This is so good. I always regret getting the freeze over a Baja Blast. Not today. Man, not today. That is. I go for another one of those. Okay. So, I am loading this thing up with truff. I'm also gonna wipe off the top there. We're gonna put our truff away, say goodbye to truff. Again, link in description if you wanna go get some, little discount code there. I got you, Poppy's got you.
And if you don't, hey, whatever. I'm happy you're here. Well, my camera's overheating. That kind of sucks. So, I'm going to take one bite of this. Mm-hmm. The sour cream, the trough, perfect together. Perfect combo. Give it a shot. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you being here. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more like this. Check out my description for that promo code and link to go get yourself some truff. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. I really appreciate it. You guys take care.